Welcome to Warner's Wheeling About. Just me messing around in my wheelchair and my cars. Well, we're in the Premier Inn in Banbury, Junction 11, on the M40, and um, it's very nice. It's quite big, it's busy, it's a good atmosphere. Um, we, left, uh, we left NEC, Birmingham, and it was about 40 miles to get here to Banbury. So we're just waiting for our food, and uh, we're going to enjoy our dinner, and uh, see you tomorrow. Cheers. Well, it's Saturday morning and we're about to uh, check out the hotel. We're just having our breakfast at the Premier Inn in Banbury. And uh, when we check out, we're going to head to the Banbury Retail Park. And we're going to meet the guys from Witch EV Magazine and Osprey and check out uh, the new hub. They've got uh, six machines, uh, six units, and they're like 125 kilowatt charges apparently. Anyway, really looking forward to going down there and seeing these guys. outside the hotel which is very convenient. We're not actually using it today because we're just about to go to Osprey pub uh, in town. I thought I'd come and check it out because it's new to see how accessible it is. Now the first thing that I see is obviously curb stones and the parking spaces are, are not wide enough. The machines themselves look brand new. Um, better than a lot of them that I've seen but it's still not ideal really. Um, if the machine came six inches closer it would be much better. Um, if they made some spaces here, I mean look at this curb. So my question is why have a curb here at all? Why not just make it a slope? Look, let me show you how silly this is. We've got a slope here Although, 
about 80 centimetres, I would say. Okay, let's give this soft spray a try. First observation, it's a 120 kilowatt charger, so the cable is very thick and very heavy. Pure gym over here, but you don't need it if you're charging your own car. Heavy, a workout, but good. Very good. And remember what I said in the wheelchair, just use one brake, not two, because these things are so heavy and they can suddenly pull you back and that momentum, if you've got both brakes on, can make you fall out of your wheelchair. So if you just keep one brake, then what happens is, is this, as opposed to tipping out, as I know from previous experience. Okay, so so this is very good. This is uh, this is well thought out in that these are protecting the unit, but they don't get in my way. I can still get quite close to the machine. The RFID card is down here, which means anybody can use it. And then obviously the screen here is all very accessible. So excellent job. I like it. The only issue I've got is again, the parking spaces. You know, these machines are quite close together. So it doesn't leave enough room for a parking space. You, to, to, to deploy a wheelchair, whether that be as a disabled driver getting your own wheelchair out or whether it's a WAV and you've got to disembark a, a fully assembled wheelchair, you need at least 120 to 140 centimetres. Um, this, this is about 180. So yeah, all in all a good job. Just give us more space please. Well, we went to Osprey, 
new installation, great ergonomic design, the parking space wasn't so clever, but we spent an hour there with the guys from EV Magazine and we just couldn't make the charges work. We were going to go to an Instavolt at the Premier Inn, but as we were on our way, we came past Tesco's. Tesco's never lets us down, Tesco's with the pod points. We come into Tesco's, as you can see, plenty of vacant units, plenty of space to park the car and unload the wheelchair, plug in our own cable, and it works instantly first time. Yes, we have to use the app to activate the charge, but very easy. You know, two minutes and we're done. Now we're going to go and get a cake and a coffee, use the toilets, buy a bit of shopping, and by the time we come back, we'll be charged. Thank you, Tesco. Thank you, Pop. We're still at Tesco's. We did a bit of shopping, went into the cafe and got some supper. Um, we came out and we were about 72% charged. And the guy next to us who was using the 50 kilowatt charger left. So we quickly swapped spaces and plugged in the 50 kilowatt charger. And uh, now we're quickly up to 98%. Now I reckon it's 111 miles to get home. And if I can average between four and 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour, then, then we should have enough to get home on 98%. So let's give that a try. According to the uh, sat nav, we've got 109 miles to get home. And according to the range, we've only got 78 miles. I don't know why it's only telling me 78. I think we should have enough to get home. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now, according to the computer, I've got 42 miles of range, yet we've got just over 50% charge. So. I'm a bit confused because if we're getting 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour then we should have a range of about 120 miles so something's clearly not calculating very well there we're 56 miles from home and we've got 41 miles of range That's a bit confusing. We just got the 16 mile an hour, uh, the 16 mile range warning. It flashed and we were down to 16 miles range. So we punched in a nearest charger on the Navi and suddenly our range went back up to 27 miles. So I don't know why it would all of a sudden add on 11 miles. Very confusing. So we're going to keep going, try and get to Lincoln Racecourse. Well, we didn't quite make it. We got to uh... 12 miles from home with 13 miles range and as it's the last charger between our home um, we decided to stop at this BP Pulse because recently we've had roadworks and diversions near where we are we couldn't take the chance of only having a, a one mile margin so we've, uh, we've just stopped off to uh, add in you know maybe 10 or 15 percent and then we'll, we'll be he heading back home very close it was very strange how it, the car was um, you know, showing us that it had 16 miles range left. We got the warning that it gives us at 16 miles. And then we punched into the Navi, you know, the nearest charger, and it gave us 
redirections to that charger and no sooner it did that it jumped back up to 27 percent again so that's very very peculiar um lots lots of things to try and understand with this ev driving lark anyway we'll put in another 10 or 15 percent and then we'll get home comfortably and not have to worry about it it's only going to be 15 minutes out of our time so that was quite a day we got home with 27 miles remaining we visited four different charge hubs um, during the day and um, as you can see instavolt we didn't use it and i wouldn't have used it because the prices are quite high and um, there was no access um, osprey excellent just a shame that it didn't uh, it didn't charge properly tesco's once again very reliable the free charger 22 kilowatts a bit slow but free um, the 50 kilowatt charger was very fast and worked very well. And then finally, a quick stop at the BP Pulse. Again, it worked, it was fast, but it wasn't accessible. So another day as an EV driver. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. It really helps me if you can give me a like and share. And please subscribe and ring that bell icon so you're notified each time I post a new video. See you in the next one. Bye.